Okay, so I figured I'd make a quick video on an interesting piece of software I found called RStudio Data Recovery. So what I'm going to do to test it out, I'm going to do a demonstration. I'm going to copy some files to a flash drive, delete them, and try to recover it with the software. So let's go ahead and get that started here. So I have our file explorer pulled up. This is our flash drive here. It's called test. I already did a trial run of this to test if it works, but I'll show you how it actually works here in a second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy some pictures and different files to this flash drive, delete them, and I'll try to recover it. So let's go ahead. We'll try to copy all these Grand Turismo 7 files from my PS4. We'll paste them in here. We'll wait for that to finish. Let's also grab some music. That's almost done copying. All right, let's paste this music file in here. And let's grab a video file just to test. Okay, so now we have all that in there. Let's go ahead and delete it. We'll just shift delete to delete everything. Okay, so now our flash drive is completely blank, so let's open up our studio and see if we can recover the files. And since we're making changes to a disk, we have to type in our administrative password. Okay, so here it gives you a layout of all the disks your machine can see. Here is our flash drive, this SanDisk 3.2, and this is the partition, this FAT32, where we pasted the files and then deleted them. So we're going to select that, we're going to select Scan. I usually leave all the defaults, and I always do a detailed scan. I think by default it might pick simple, but since I did this a few more times, I pick detailed. So we'll click Scan. Now, depending on the size of your drive, it will take it, the time it can take to scan is going to vary wildly. So, since this is only a 16 gigabyte drive, the partition itself is actually only 13.5 gigabytes. So, it should be pretty quick, as you can see. It's going pretty quickly. But I tried this with a 2 terabyte drive, and it took about three hours. And that's just to find the files. It takes even more time once you find the files to actually recover them. So I will, I'll stop the video here, I'll pick it back up once the scan is complete, just to save some time. Okay, so the scan is finished, so to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to maximize this screen. I also forgot to mention, if you look over here to the right, it gives you a little bit of a, kind of a graphical representation of what it's scanning, it's kind of cool to look at, and then it gives you these little color-coordinated segments of what it actually sees when it scans. But once the scan completes, what you're going to see over here to the left, it puts this new item over here called raw files. That's the potentially the files that you could potentially recover. So you're going to click on that. We're going to go up here to show files, and then it gives you the split screen view. So over here to the right is everything that can potentially be recovered on the device. And you can actually go in here, you can double click on these. And you can see the files individually. So remember before, this this flash drive was completely blank and it found all of the PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 pictures from Gran Turismo. So we'll go up here and see what else it found. It looks like it found an audio file that we placed on there and the MP4 video file. So just to see, just to show you guys how this works, we'll try to recover a couple of these pictures here. So what you can actually do, you can click, you can select one of these and hit preview. And as you can see, that's definitely a picture from Gran Turismo 7. We'll try another one. It'll work here. Okay, preview. So you can see that it pulled that up from a completely blanked out USB flash drive. 
But what you have to remember, so anytime you delete a file on a flash drive, it doesn't technically delete it, it just kind of loses mapping. So what I haven't tried yet is actually using this software on a flash drive or a disk that I've actually ran DBAN on that will actually overwrite the ones and zeros. My guess is it probably won't work, but that may be a topic for a completely separate video. So if you actually want to recover these files, what you can do... Okay, so I actually made a mistake. I forgot to show you guys the directory and setting up the directory for recovery. So I made a mistake. I already recovered the graphics and pictures, but that's okay. We'll try it with another one here. Let's just pick video. So we're going to select that. We're going to click recover marked. So here's the output folder you need to select. I think by default it puts it in the home, your username, mine is com for Comptech Engineer, and then the RStudio folder. But you can click here and you can select whatever whatever uh, directory you want. So once you're done with that, just click OK. It's going to go through. It. That was pretty quick because it was only a file or two. I can't remember what we put in there. But depending on how much data you have to recover, it could take, uh, you know, five, ten minutes. So let's go see if the files are actually recovered. So we'll navigate to that directory. And I think we were already there. Okay, so we're at home. We're going to click on our studio. And here's the graphics and pictures. So here we are. It, it's, it looks like it recovered everything. Here are all the JPEGs. We'll click on a couple of them to make sure they look good. Pull it up with Gwenview here. Yep, that looks perfect. Let's check another one. Yep, that looks perfect too. So it looks like we are good to go. So like I said before, I haven't tried this yet with a device ran on DBAN. I may try that in a future video because I, I think that'd be pretty interesting to show. So next what we're going to do, I'm going to show you where you can actually buy this software. So I have my Firefox browser pulled up. What you're going to do is search for RStudio Data Recovery. Make sure you don't just search for RStudio because there is a data mining software that I believe is the almost identical name. So just make sure you put in the full thing. I'll put a link in the description below just so you don't get confused. But this is the one you want right here, RStudio Data Recovery Software. You're going to click there. And this is one of the reasons I chose it because it works on so many different systems. I'm running Linux Kubuntu, of course, but it also works for Mac and Windows. I believe the price is the same regardless of regardless of the operating system, but as you can see here, the the standard user version is $79.99. If you're a an organization, I think you get a special version that has even more crazy features. But for most people, the you know the standard $80 is what you're gonna want. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.